But anyway, no, okay, I didn't. Okay. I didn't hang up. So anyway. No, no. Listen to me, sir. Hello. Are you there? I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, sir, I need to ask you a few questions. Like, when was the last time you used your Target account to order something? I've never used the Target account. Okay. It means, sir, someone else has misused your personal information and created a fake account in the Target. That's the reason you are receiving this invoice messages and the charges. So what do you want to do, sir? You want to continue with this charge or you want to cancel it and take your money back? Well, it's it's a little strange because I don't have a Target account. So how could anything be charged to it? No, no, sir. I'm telling you that you don't have any Target account. I agree with you. But what I'm telling you, sir, someone else has compromised your personal information and created a fake account in the Target. That's the reason you are receiving this types of emails. So what do you want to do, sir? You want to continue with this charge or you want to cancel this charge? No, of course I want to cancel it. Of course I do. All right. So it means, sir, you want to cancel this charge and you, you want the money back which you are going to be charged. Am I correct? So I've, I've already been charged money. Is that it? Yes, sir. The money has been already charged and it will reflect on your account after 24 hours. So in this case, sir, what we need to do, we need to go ahead and block that fake account from the target and we need to cancel it. So I do believe, sir, you are in front of your computer right now. So we can create the cancellation ID for you. Yeah, let me let me turn it on. I got to turn it on just a second here. All right, then take your sweet time and turn on your computer. Okay, it's sort of up and running. All right, sir. When it's completely turned on, do let me know so I can generate the cancellation code for you for cancel that transaction, okay? Okay, yeah, it is. It is. And, sir, first of all, I want to say something like never ever share your personal information with anybody, okay? Okay, I won't. Yeah, and if you have any account like Target account, so don't ever share your Target account password with anybody. Okay. Apart from your family. I, I won't do that. I won't even give it to my family. God knows what my kids would do with it. Oh my goodness, not an issue, sir. I will secure each and everything for you as you are a grateful customer. Well, I'm, I'm not a customer. I mean, I... Oh, you're not a customer. I don't go to okay, Target. All right, I don't go to Target at all. Okay. The closest Target store is okay, right. the closest Target store right. is about 50, what's 50 your miles good name, away. Sir? What's what? your good name? What'd you say, sir? What is your name? Ulysses S. Grant. G R A N T. G R A N T. Correct. Okay. All right. And my name is Jack. You can address me as Jack. What was it, Jack? Yeah, correct. J like Joker, A like Apple, C like Cat, K like Kangaroo. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, Jack. That's fine. Like like jumping okay. jacks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now what? Computer's on. What do you want? All right. First of all, you do one thing, just close each and everything and open up your Google Chrome browser. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I did that. Okay, all right. Yeah, and now look on the top, sir. There is one plus sign. You need to give a click on that plus. Okay. Yeah, and now you need to type in on the new tab. I am giving you the command. All the letters should be in lower case, okay? Okay. Yeah www dot three w's and a single dot like a period. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I did. Yes. After that, you need to type in letter A, A like apple. Okay. Then letter N, N like Nancy. Okay. Then letter Y, Y as in yellow. Okay. 
then letter D, D as in Delta. Okay. Then letter E, E as in Echo. Okay. Then letter S, S like Sugar. Okay. Then letter K, K as in Kingdom. Okay, so any any desk, is that what it is? Yeah, and now give us single dot like a period and com dot com. Okay, I did that. Yeah, and now press the enter button from your keyboard and what's come up to your screen, do let me know. Well, it, it pulls up a screen, you know, describing this program, I guess, and then it says, uh, do you want to download it? So I, you know. I, you want me to you want me to you want me to download it? Bottom. Yeah. Do you see any download now icon over there on the bottom? Yeah, I do. Sure. Yeah. Give a click on download now. Okay. And now, what you can see on your screen? Well, it's it uh, it downloaded it to the it looks like the lower left corner, and uh, I got yeah, a, yeah, I got to yeah, click on. It you says, it says, click double, and open that. Okay, okay, I did that. And now what you can see on your screen? Well, it pulled up another window with some numbers. It says this desk, remote desk, so on yes, and so forth. Can you see there are nine digit cancellation code? Nine digit numbers? Yes, right. Yeah, just, just help me with that numbers. Five eight eight five one three three four three. Sir, after the five one three, it's it says five eight eight five one three. Okay. Three four three. Okay, all right. Now, sir, you will be getting an option on your screen. You need to give a click on a check box. Okay. If you see any check box, you need to give a click on a check box and give a click on accept, okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't see anything yet. So you have given me some wrong numbers. Can you check the numbers once again? 588513 Three four three, but it's from the beginning, sir. From the beginning, five one three. F no, five hundred and eighty eight, five hundred and thirteen, okay. three hundred and forty three. Sir, five hundred and eighty eight. Right. After five eight eight five five hundred five one three. Right, and then three hundred and forty three, three hundred and forty three. So Three hundred and forty-three. Correct. Okay, all right. Now you can see on your screen, sir. You are getting an option like you need to give a click on a check box. Okay, I did give that. A click on it. I did. Yeah, give a click on a check box and give a click on accept. I did. Okay, all right. Now you do one thing, sir. What you can see on your screen. What do you mean? What do I see on my screen? I see a picture of a yellow flower with uh, some numbers. It says uh, 407-889-453. Would like to view your desk. So you do one thing. Just minimize that page. Minimize that page. Okay. Yeah, minimize it and open the AnyDesk application from your home screen. Open the AnyDesk application from my home screen. I don't know what that means. What you can see on your screen, sir, just minimize it. Just minimize the thing, whatever you can see on your screen. Okay, you want me to minimize it, okay. How do I, o how do I go to open anything if it's minimized? I don't get it. No, no, first of all, what do you need to do, sir? You need to minimize it. Okay, I, I got it minimized now. Now what? Yep, 
now open the AnyDesk application from your screen. Well, you just told me to close it, so I did. No, no, you need to open your AnyDesk app. What is the AnyDesk app? I don't understand. I thought I just did that. I have the I have the AnyDesk opened up, and it has. Uh, Let's a, wait for a moment. A disconnect button down the bottom, but it you know it says chat and file transfer, and and then it has some numbers and some some gray stuff that you know that's not highlighted. I can highlight it, but I I don't know what you mean. That that's the app, isn't it? Okay. So first of all, first of all, help me with that. The like, which device are you using? It's a laptop or it's a computer? It's a laptop. Well, the laptop is a computer. It's, it's a, a laptop. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you do one thing. Just open the main AnyDesk page. Open the main AnyDesk page. Whatever you can see on your screen, just minimize it and open the main AnyDesk page. Well, okay, I, I have no clue what it is you're talking about. But anyway, okay, I I opened up an AnyDesk page with the numbers in the okay. upper left-hand corner. Okay, now you do one thing. Look on the right-hand side top corner. There are four lines just below of the cross. Can you see that? Yep, I do. Yeah, you will click on that. Okay. Yeah, and just go to the settings. Go to the settings. Settings, okay. Yep. Now what? All right, so over there, can you see, like, security? Over there, can you see over there, student security? I do, yeah, I see that, yep. Now what you can see on your screen? It's asking for a valid password or user confirmation required. All right, just wait for a moment. Are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm here. All right, just wait for a moment. Let me secure your computer, okay? What can you see on your screen right now, sir? It says authentication is required to run the AnyDesk Global Settings. Yeah type, yeah, type down your password over there. Type your password. Okay, I did. Oh, it's asking for it again. Okay, right. It's asking for yeah. it again. Just, yeah, just type it down. Okay, I did. Yeah, and just now wait for a moment. Let me secure your computer, okay? Okay. So what can you see on your screen right now, sir? It says set password for unattended access. Yes, sir. You need to set a password. I am giving you the password, sir. The password is Apple. All the letters should be in lowercase. A P P L E. Apple seven five seven. Okay. And yeah, and type it on the second panel. Also type it correctly. Okay. And after that, if you see only OK, just give a click on OK. I did, yeah. Yes. And now just wait for a moment. Let me secure it. So first of all, first of all, help me with that, sir. Like, do you have any account in the target? Do I have, do I have what?
Hello. Hi, this is Jack. Yeah, what, what, what happened? You disappeared. Voicemail. Okay, I sent the colored voicemail. Goodbye. Well, he's thinking around in my computer here. Interesting. Of course, I put the wrong password in. Instead of 757, I put in 767. But he hasn't discovered that yet. Here we go again. Hello. To press one. Descend. What happened to you? You disappeared. What happened, sir? You just hang up my line? No, I didn't hang up. It just dropped. I don't know what happened. Then I, I tried to call you back, and it went to a message or something. What do you have received, sir? Say that again. What? Sir, what the password you have created over there, sir? Apple 767. That's what you okay, told me. To, Apple 766. That's okay, what you... Okay, all right. Just tell on me. That's thing. what you told me to put in. Okay, all right. So, now you do one thing, sir. Just go back and open that email so I can provide the refund for you. Just open the email and check how much is your refund amount. Okay, and confirm me. Okay, uh, I think I may have erased it, but I think it was $467, something like that. Let me see uh, if I can. I wrote it down here. Hang on a second. Um, All right. Okay, yeah, it was, it was $437.78. Order number MX, MX9, it was order number MX nine five three one five seven four T T A C T. Okay, all right, sir. So as we have connected you to our cancellation server, we have sent you a payment link directly on your online banking account. You need to go ahead and click on the accept the refund. There are two options. One is accept the refund, and the other one is reject the refund. If you click on accept the refund you will be receiving your refund money. And if you want to click on reject, it means you don't want your refund. So just go ahead, sir, and click on the accept the refund. Okay? Yeah, sure. I don't see anything to click on it, but go ahead. No, no. You, you need to go ahead and check your online banking, sir. Over there, I have sent you the notification, like accept the refunds or reject the refund. Okay, let me, let, me, let me pull up my bank here and we'll see. Okay, all right. Take your time. Okay, I got to log in again. Okay, I I don't I don't see where I'm supposed to accept it or reject it. Where is it supposed to show right, up? Sir. Just check it carefully. Yeah, I am. I don't see any place to accept or reject. I mean, I, wouldn't it have been, I don't understand, wouldn't it have been charged to the credit card? How, how could it have on been? On your bank account. What? On your bank account, sir. On your bank account. Okay, all right. You haven't received any that type of notification, sir? No, I haven't. Okay, all right, sir. So now uh, what I will do, sir, I will just simply go ahead and transfer this line to my financial manager who can help you well and guide you well how we're going to refund back you the money, okay? Super. So up the line, sir. Okay. I am just transferring this line. All right. Just wait for a moment. Okay. Yeah, 
Thank you for holding the line, sir. This is James Martin, the senior manager down here. How are you doing today? I'm all right. How are you? Well, good. I'm also fine, sir. Thank you for asking me. Where are you? So where are you guys? Company. Where are you located? I know they had some tornadoes down, and okay. you know some bad tornadoes that went through Kentucky and Tennessee, and I hope you weren't anywhere near there. <laughs> we, are from, we are from California, and we are absolutely fine, sir. Okay. Oh, where about whereabouts in California? Is the is the drought still on? My sister lives in California, and she's been talking about how bad the drought is there. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, absolutely, sir. So thank you for your concern. We are safe and sound, very protective within our houses. And also we are working from home, like because of the COVID-19 procedure. So we are work, doing the work from home options, okay? So we are at home and we are doing our work, okay? So, so not to okay, worry about. good idea. All right. And uh, sir, like, did you get any kind of notification on your online banking to receive the money? Nope. Yes or no? No, I didn't. Nope. All right, just a moment. Let me have a look and let me log into my company's bank account in order you, in order to send you the money, okay? So I'm going to log into my company's bank account, okay? Okay. We do business with Chase, so I'm going to send it to the NFT transfer, NEFT. That will be like the electronic fund transfer, okay? Okay. So I'm going to send the money right in that way, okay? Okay. So just leave your mouse. Just hold on and just look at the computer, okay? Okay. And in the meanwhile, if you see a black screen coming ahead, so do let me know. Okay. Can you see a black screen coming ahead? Not yet. Yeah, absolutely correct. So you have seen that black screen because we are trying to log into my company's account. So that's the reason for the privacy concern. The other people see the black screen coming ahead. So when you see that, just do let me know. Okay. Now I believe you can see your screen coming up with our Chase for Business account. Am I correct? Yep. All right. So uh, right now, sir, do one thing. Like uh, <coughs> so it's, it time. says. Uh, it's, do one thing, sir. It Just says you're behind in your. Mouth. It says you're behind in your payments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because like the company's money because of that. So you do one thing, sir. So you need Make to. Sure you, you need to. According to this, your your bank, it says you owe them sixty seven dollars and eight cents. Yeah, yeah, because it's like the month then, right? So okay. we can re retrieve that, so not to worry. So I can see. you just go ahead and check your check your balance, like whatever balance you have on your account. Okay. Check your balance because when we transfer the money, like you can see the balance coming up to you, okay? So okay. Can you just go ahead and check your balance? What is your balance on your account? Okay, I just did. What is your balance? Uh, five hundred thirty-nine dollars and forty-six cents. Oh, your balance shows here. This one? Yeah. Oh no, I thought like there's someone, some, uh, someone else showing the balance. So well, there, are, there are two accounts. Oh. There's one. There's a savings account too. Okay, you can check that also. Well, there's not much in the savings account. You can just check it out because um, to make sure that you got the money. So that's the reason. No, I didn't. I didn't get the money. All right, not a problem, sir. So just click on the checking one so I can send the money there. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. So you have five hundred and thirty-nine dollars and forty-six cents. Yeah, right. I I got a lot of I got a lot of money in I got a lot of money in bitcoins, but anyway. <laughs> no problem, sir. I understand that. So what I can do down here, sir, I'll make the transfer. Okay, so just give me a moment. Okay. Okay. And when I start the transfer, you will able to see a black screen coming ahead. So when you see that, sir, just do let me know. All right. Okay. Like, can you see a black screen coming ahead to you? No, I I don't I don't see anything. I mean, it's just a dumb screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's a black screen, right? Well, it's black. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the moment. Just uh, just hold on for a second, sir. Okay. Because I'm gonna make the transfer start. So that's the reason you may able to see a black screen coming ahead. So just need to hold on. Okay. Okay. And what was 
Georgia Reef and the Mound, sir? Uh, I believe this. Let me look it up again. Uh, you guys keep asking me. I think it was $437. Uh, let me. I wrote it down here. Just a minute. I got to dig out the piece of paper again. Uh, four hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Four hundred thirty-seven dollars and seventy-eight cents. And it was the. It was order. It was. It was order number MX nine five three, fifteen seventy-four TTACT. And the shipping. Okay, it was. It. it was supposed to go to. Jerry Hudson, 854 VZ County Road, 4101, Canton, Texas, 75103. All right, just hold on. Let me just have you out. What, dear? I'm going to shut this door so that I can stop. Okay. So we are trying to give you $440, okay? The $3 is a compensation, all right? Okay. I'm getting tired of looking at a blank screen. Oh, yes, I just need to hold on, okay? You okay, dear? Oh. Is the door of the basin open? Yeah. Okay. coming up sir just do let me know okay I do I still see it yeah all right you see the still you still see the black screen yep oh when you see that when you see your screen coming up just do let me know okay okay Okay, so I can see my screen now. Okay, you can see your screen now? Yep. So what do you see on your screen, just to let me know? I see a Chase transfer of $100. Sorry? I see a, a Chase transfer of $100. Chase transfer over $100? Yeah, that's what it said. Be like four hundred and four hundred and eighty dollars, but four hundred and forty dollars. Can you see that? No, I don't. It should be four hundred and forty dollars, okay? Okay. So when you see that, just do let me know. Okay. Yeah, it's, it still shows the balance of five hundred and thirty nine dollars and forty six cents. 
All right, just a minute. <laughs> what do you see right now, sir? Well, I see the. I haven't. I don't see the the entry that was there before is now gone, and now it just says it shows the transfer I made from my savings into the balance, and the balance is five hundred thirty nine dollars and forty six cents. All right. So just hold on, okay? Yeah. Because you're gonna start the transfer, all right? I thought you already did. No, sir. We are just trying to start the transfer. So just hold on, okay? Okay. When you see your screen coming up, just do let me know. Okay, I can see it now. So what's the <coughs> transfer amount? Just do let me know. Four thousand dollars. Four hundred dollars. No, it says Sorry? four thousand dollars. Four thousand? No, it should be only four hundred. Well, you guys made a big mistake then, didn't you? Oh God, let me check. Do you see any kind of chase transfer? This is a chase transfer, right? Yep. Of four thousand dollars. Oh goodness. Oh God. <laughs> Maybe my mistake, sir. Like instead of four hundred, uh, we have sent it four thousand. So let me just have a look and have check. Okay. Works for me. Oh, we didn't get that. I'm sorry. Works for me. I understand it works for you, sir, but it doesn't work for me, right? That's the company's money, not even mine. So I'll lose my job, okay? So just give me a moment. Maybe I just put out too many zeros in between, or I, be I believe I missed out the decimal point. I type four zero zero point zero zero. No, if you I make it, listen, that, if you make a mistake like that, you deserve to lose your job. I understand that, sir, but I just need your help to get back my money, okay? Why? Can you screwed up. $20? You screwed up. I didn't screw up. I'm sorry? You're the one who screwed up. <laughs> I understand that, sir, sir. I understand that, sir. But the thing is that now you got an extra money, so I just, I just need your help, okay? If you can give me the money, sir, send me the money, and it'll be very good. All I need to do is I'll, I'll give you the compensation for it to help me out, okay? What, you, what, did, you, what did you have in mind? Sir, your refund amount is four hundred and forty dollars. Okay, I'm gonna give you four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, you can take ten dollars compensation. All right. No, you got to do better than that. I won't do it for less than a thousand. I have to pay. I have to pay. I have to pay from my own pocket. Okay. So try to stand that. Can you take only five hundred now? Take five hundred and send me three thousand five hundred back. Sounds good. Nope. I want a thousand. Sir, how can that be, sir? I have to pay it from my side. I don't so care. I have that. I'm paying $60. Maybe that'll teach you to pay more attention next time. Okay, fine. I'll get that. I have to pay that $1,000 to from my own pocket then. Okay. Not 1000 All right. Can you just help me out to send the money? Sure.
How can you send that? Well, if you give me your address, I'll send you a check. How's that? No, sir. So I need it right now. Okay. Do you have an online option to send money from one place to another on this account? Well, give me your bank's account number, and I'll see what I can do. So I have to do it from your own, from my own side, okay? So, can, is there any option that you can send money from one place to another? Well, let's see. Oops, I was I was looking at your Chase account here, and. Let's see. Hmm. Oops. My bank account disappeared from the screen. Yes, sir. I did that, sir. I did that. Oh, well, because put it... If that put is it, logged in, then... Put, oh, oh, you fixed it. How good for you. How, excellent. You managed to get it back. Good for you. Although I, I'm going to miss the four thousand dollars. Really, sir? Your money is gone, like on a hidden mode. This is the old transaction, the transaction of 2017, 12. Yeah, that's 15, that's today. 2017. That's today. No, this is 2017. This is 2017. Oh well, the other one had the same date on it, so it doesn't matter. It still shows the current, let's see, let's look at account activity. Oops. What happened to my account? Sure, I just minimize it. Oh, well, maximize it again, would you? All right, so nothing to worry about, sir, okay? So you're done with the business? All right, so let's see what it can do. Can I can I give you a hint? <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, really, can I give you a hint? You need to do a better job of hiding the screen when you're changing the numbers in the elements. I'm sorry? You need to do a better job of hiding the screen when you're changing the numbers in the elements of the page. And then all somebody has to do is all somebody has to do is refresh the page and everything you've done is gone. Am I what? You're teaching me my job? I didn't understand that. You're not making any sense. You're teaching, you're teaching me my job? Well, clearly you're not doing it very well. If I were, if I were okay, your... Okay, now what do you do? If I were your supervisor now, I would boot you from the job. All right, then. Listen, on a, on a more serious note, where are you really located? I'm curious to know what the COVID situation is in India. What? What are you crying about? A very simple question. You heard it. No, you're not from India. Who said that? No, I'm not from India. You are. Or so Pakistan. So tell me where you're located in California. Sorry? Tell me where you're located in California. Why are you saying my address? The well, job is done. Be happy with that, okay? I didn't catch any of that. You got a bad phone connection now, but anyway. I'm saying that you have your job done, right? Be happy with that, okay? Where did you say you were? Wait, wait a minute. You need help there? What? Sorry? I think the cat did that. 
I was talking to my wife, sorry. So where are you located? All right, thank you for your time. Have a great day, okay? Okay, stay safe and be sure you're vaccinated.